All right, what is good, you guys? We got a uh, client's build, and I got the whole box of parts in. I just ordered this stuff yesterday morning, so I got it all in uh, on uh, Friday. So it came in, you know, one day shipping so far. Um, we have the case, which is going to be a deep cool test rack because it's cheap and it gets the job done for what we need. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of an unboxing of what we got going. So, of course, as usual. An EVG 80 plus 500 watt power supply, a uh, Hyper T2 cooler, which is cheaper than the TX3, and uh, this performs about the same. So honestly, I don't mind using that. Um, he requested he had Wi-Fi, so we got him a Rosewill uh, dual band. It's at only 802.a b g r n, but I mean, you know, it's not. It's not doesn't support AC, but uh, I'm pretty sure the guy doesn't have a uh, router for AC so this will do really well um, I have the slightly the one with only two antennas and uh, it works perfectly fine so um, we have a FX 6300 black edition yada yada he needed a blu-ray burner so we got him a blu-ray burner right here um, I believe this would be the hard drive um, we didn't get him an SSD um, because honestly he doesn't need it and uh, I really don't he's not very tech savvy and I, I don't uh, feel like showing him how to do the managing two hard drives and, and he's got a son and he'd have to sit there and explain to his son on space management so I thought it was easier just to not get an SSD um, not to mention it's an extra fifty dollars off the budget that he doesn't really need and we have a Seagate one terabyte uh, and the good stuff, so 8 gigs of G-Skill Sniper Memory. Um, let's see if we can find where my razor went. What did I, I just had it and I put it down. I, th I think I threw it somewhere, which you shouldn't throw a razor somewhere, but I did. Alright, let's pop this baby open. So, um, I got this refurbished, um, but it still has a one-year warranty. It's, it's uh, factory refurbished manufacturer refurbishment and uh, the reason we chose it is because it was only a hundred and fifty dollars and I don't know if I should buy another one but I am thinking about it so for graphics card he didn't need anything too powerful um, but he did want to make sure he could handle all the newer titles um, so we went with this it's a GTX 960 um, I actually have not had the time to actually play with one of these before so um, his price range, he was looking to only spend about $700 on the computer. So, um, being able to fit this in with the Wi-Fi and the, uh, Blu-ray drive, um, was, uh, that's the main reason why we have an AMD platform instead of an Intel, but that is a nice card. It's fairly long, a lot longer than I thought it would be. So, obviously, because it's manufactured, um, refurbished, all it comes in is just a little EVGA box with, a little plastic you know, cover for it. So we're going to stick that back in there for now because we don't need it out. But, uh, and there we go. And last but not least, um, so he really wanted a sound card. Like, he, he really was pushing for one. And, uh, he didn't want to spend a lot on it, though. Honestly, he wasn't even looking to spend a lot on the graphics card. We were going to get him originally a 360 because that can game and it's very cheap but uh, he ended up calling me and saying he's like honestly if we can get a better graphics card I don't mind paying a little extra for it so um, he didn't want to spend two hundred dollars he was looking more in the hundred and forty hundred and fifty dollar range which would have been an R9 370 um, or a 750 Ti but I'd rather have this, uh, the 370 because it has DirectX 12 support um, but I ended up finding a 960 which obviously also has DirectX 12 support as well um, for super cheap as well. Um, so we're going to be putting Windows 8.1 on this system. I already have the key code and the flash drive that I put the boot on. I have no idea where it went. But um, he really wanted a sound card and it was looking like it was going to be cutting into the budget about a hundred dollars or so. And I was just pushing on to him telling him, man, you know what? Sound cards for a hundred dollars are really not better. Um, than the audio built onboard audio of a good motherboard. 
So I ended up finally talking him into, well, it didn't really take me hard, a lot to talk him into. I just told him, for your $100 price tag, you're really not going to get that great of a sound card. You're better off just spending a little bit more money and getting a better motherboard um, with a better sound on it. So we have a MSI 970 Gaming, and as we can see, it's got a sound boost um, little premium audio package built in on it. So I told him that this is honestly about as good as the sound quality as you're going to get as far as those $70, $60 sound cards are. You might as well get something with a high-end, you know, um, audio on it built in. That way you don't have to worry about an extra sound card, you don't have to worry about extra drivers. Um, so he ended up deciding, saying that was a great idea, not to mention we have a beefy power delivery on this motherboard um, and decently sized heat sinks on the RAM. So overall this motherboard is a good motherboard. Um, it was only 100 bucks. So technically, buying this motherboard with good, you know, built-in sound was um, way cheaper than buying a crappier motherboard with a sound card. And it has better sound quality um, compared to the sound cards he was looking at. Um, but he only needs it because he has like a 5.1 surround sound that he hooks up to his computer. And I'm like, dude, if that's all you're doing, um, then <laughs> this is this is more than enough. You know what I mean? Uh, you don't you don't need some crazy sound card just to plug you know a, a standard little um, surround system into. It's not like he's an audiophile or has any crazy $500 headsets, so he doesn't really need it. Um, he just wasn't really sure what he needed. He's not that tech savvy. Um, but this motherboard's actually really cool. We got the little dragon on the side of the heatsink there. Um, you know the MSI logo here. So it's a very nice motherboard. Um, excited to put it together. He really wanted it by Saturday. And I told him, well, let's up it to the three-day shipping. That way I know I can get it by Monday. Um, because I didn't even get the down payment for the computer um, until uh, I got it yesterday on the down payment. And uh, ordered all the parts right when I got the down payment. Um, so we put in for the three-day shipping to make sure we get it, you know, within a reasonable time. But I'm going to be happy to tell him, hey, I might even be able to get it to him tonight. Or maybe tomorrow morning, depending on... Uh, how, how fast I can throw everything together and get Windows installed and do some testing on a system, make sure everything's good. But yeah, anyways, you guys, just doing a, look, a, a little bit of an update, and I'll probably go through the whole build once it's done, come back with the camera. But uh, yeah, just showing you guys why I'm always so busy. I've been building a lot of computers lately. There's another one right there that's going to be supposed to be going to the customer today, um, but he hasn't called me yet, so whenever he calls me, it'll be going out to him. And uh, obviously I haven't gotten rid of the Intel build. You guys see all the boxes of stuff. I've been ordering so many parts. Um, but yeah, there's boxes and another computer tower around the corner. And like case panels and power supplies lying all over there. And then my box of, of random assortments of wires and parts. But yeah, the Intel build's still here. I haven't gotten rid of it yet. So I'm working on getting rid of that one too. But anyways, you guys, yeah, uh, I'll check back in later. So, quick thing. Uh, I didn't know it came with a door hanger that says I'm not here. And it comes with a really cool case badge. And it's pretty big. And then I think these are SLI stickers, I believe, that, that that's what these are. Bridge, or uh, Crossfire, or I'm not sure if this supports SLI. I don't know. But basically, these are the bridge stickers. I would, I, I'm thinking that's what these are. But it comes with a lot of them, which is kind of weird. And then I don't know what this is up top. Oh, oh, they're little tags that you can write in, like boot drive, SSD drive, or, you know, storage drive, optical drive. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. So, yeah, we're doing a little bit of an unboxing. Only two SATA cables, surprising. A lot of motherboards I've messed with come with, like, four. Um, weird, that only because of two, but a fully blacked out um, bridge here. Yeah, it's kind of shitty that uh, the case I got him is the Deep Cool Tesseract, and it's not going to be red and black with this, but, you know, it's whatever. It, it'll do. But yeah, it's got a black uh, I.O. plate. It's kind of nifty. Um, driver disc, which no one ever cares about. So yeah, I'm going to start working on this some more. I'll be back later. First time boot up. So this is the uh, 960 for the win edition, so it's got the back plate. I don't like the location of the 8 pin. It's kind of a weird, like, almost towards the middle. And you can see there's even a gap in the... Uh, um, heat sink to where it looks like they should have put it there but now they put it there instead covers up the 960 instead of covering up the four of the wind so I guess that's why they did it I don't know but uh yeah um I will say this the T2 that's one of the things I forgot about this the T2 for AMD doesn't allow you to have it facing towards the back the TX3 does but the T the TX2 does not so 
Uh, that's probably why I usually always grab the T3, unless it's an Intel system, you can use this just fine and configure whichever way you want, but on AMD systems it only points up or down, which is really stupid, but uh, uh, everything else is done, Blu-ray drives in, the one terabyte's in, 500 watt, uh, cable management is not fully done yet, but uh, yeah, just waiting. CPU memory set up. Oh crap, I forgot. I already turned it on. So, let's go ahead and uh, move some stuff out of the way here so I can sit down. And F1. Leap. Let me in BIOS. Ah, uh, settings. Hmm. Ah, uh, poo poo poo. Overclock settings. So, it posted. It's reading the RAM. 1600 megahertz, which is what it should be at. Uh, DRAM timing. Honestly, I could probably just leave it on auto, but uh, I'll leave it on auto for now. I'll probably go take a look at it later. I'm not going to do any overclocking. Uh, I put the cooler on there solely because the stock cooler that comes with the 6300 is real junk. Um, and that's a lot quieter, so I'd rather keep it silent in its uh, stock settings. So I'm trying to find, I can just see from the front. So yeah, we have read our 8 gigs of memory is in there. It's hard to focus. Uh, FX6300 at 3.5 gigs. And uh, I don't know where it shows the temperature on these. Uh, okay, right in the corner. Motherboard 32, CPU 29, so we're looking good. So yeah, time for some cable management and Windows install.